there you're watching the gardens and graveyards channel my name is charisma and today we're in the backyard and we are getting started on the build of our greenhouse so w the first thing we did is we pulled all the parts out of the box that it came in it is a pal ram uh, canopia hybrid and so it is a kit that came in a box one box a six by eight greenhouse um, and so then we, um, we counted all of our parts and checked them off and made sure we have every part that we need. Uh, we are missing one piece that we will contact the company and let them know and try to get that to us as soon as possible. And then we put together our base to make sure that when we put together our brick wall that we're, plant we're planning on putting down, um, we know exactly where those um, blocks need to go so that they're not, you know, shift it one side or the other. We want them dead center um, to support the greenhouse with the maximum impact. So the first mistake we made is on step number one, just not paying really careful attention. And we had the extenders all the way out rather than pushed close together and it was making the width of our greenhouse um, like eight inches wider than we were expecting it to be, which means that it did not sit on the pavers that we placed down for the foundation. Thankfully, on the very last piece that we were putting together, Spencer noticed that we had a little more screws than we should have left over and we double checked the diagram and realized what we did. So we went back and shifted all of those over and put in all the extra screws and now it's exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, and counting the parts and sorting through them and then putting the frame together took just a little bit longer than we expected it to. So we are not going on to the next step, which is to lay the bricks down. Um, we will do that in the next couple of days. We'll share that with you, but I wanted to get to this video out for Friday and it's already Thursday. So you'll be seeing this tomorrow. Just know that we are beginning the build and it's probably going to be a lot, um, a lot of two steps forward, one step back kind of deal but um, totally worth it. And it's kind of exciting because it's really happening now. Um, I'll, I will turn the camera around and show you what the base looks like. So there it is. It fits perfectly on the foundation as expected. We purposely wanted extra room all the way around it. So it's got a good solid base. We wanted the frame to be in the center of these pavers so that there is plenty of support. So now that we have that going on, we haven't measured it out or anything. We just assembled it and placed it on there. So we'll get it all measured out and then we could start placing these cinder blocks down and we'll go on from there. Exciting. Make sure that you're make sure that you are subscribed so that you can watch this full journey. I'm sure at the very end, I'll put it all together and just have like a quick video of all the steps compressed, um, just to be like, this is start to finish, but we are going to be going, um, you know, week by week, a little bit slow and really show you the process, how we get it done. And you could see how it's, you know, we're just homeowners. It's a DIY project and we're doing it, you know, after we get off work and when we feel good and it's not raining and it's not too hot and all that kind of stuff. So we are taking our time with it and we're not in a big rush. And I just want you to be encouraged um, that it's okay to just slow down and take things step by step and you don't have to get it all done right now. So if you have a project that seems like it should be done in a weekend and it's taking you a couple of months, don't no, there's no shame in that. <laughs> so I make sure you subscribe so you can take so that you can go along with us on our journey and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.